uh, also here just down from the limes is this huge mango tree. Actually they're looking good after the rain. There we go, Lorraine's got one here. Check it. Look how big it is, next to her bloody hand. It's half the size of a skull, I can tell you. <laughs> wow. Let me show you the uh, mango situation here. Right here there's one literally where Lorraine was just standing, she didn't even see it. Look at this, check that out. That's in my hand. Look how big this is. Not Huge. We may not have to go for a walk for... Um... Let's have a look around here. For a quick look. We'll see what we find here. Just got to be careful of the green ants. Bats have been down here obviously, chewing them up. They're having a top time. Unfortunately, most of them are uh, a little bit too high. A little out of reach. They're huge. They're absolutely huge. Even that is what you would call a small one here. And uh, <laughs> that's not a small. That's ah, uh, ah. Uh, it's got a small break in it. Small crack. But there you go. That's a uh, huge mango tree there's another one up near the lime and that doesn't have any fruit on it this year unfortunately that tends to get the smaller variety these oh there we go one just fell for me thanks god that's god just giving me one right here he just threw one down he said here you go champion that's what you get for standing around and waiting And we got one there. Oh, it's opened up and cracked. I can smell it. Unfortunately, that one's gone. That's the one God just sent down. But there you go, plenty of um, free food up here. A few weeks back, I went and, and grabbed, uh, it was the end of the season, so I'll know next year, I start looking around September, October, but um, the star fruit slash star apples. And, uh, you know, they go for about 25 bucks a kilo over here in Oz. Delicious. Really, uh, more vitamin C, apparently, than a orange. And full of fibre. But while they go and buy uh, mangoes, when you, can just, you can walk around everywhere up here. There's so many spots up here where mangoes are, are growing wildly. Why would you go and pay for them? And I really can't even jump up for any of those. Anyway, off we go, and uh, we're going to walk somewhere else right now. Dirty diggers, what have we got here? Little bitty mangoes. All over the joint. These are ripe. These are okay, some of these. But that's soft. Yeah, I know. But is it too soft? Is it too bruised? No, but it might be good for making a smoothie. I'll have a smoothie then. Yeah, you'll have to choose Alright. There you go. Waste not, want not, because this is going to stink in a couple of days. This is not where we were expecting to find uh, mangoes. I, was, I thought I'd come down here and document uh, just how close the rainforest actually still is to us here, where we are. Uh, a lot of places up here are starting to get developed like like they do in the uh, in the bigger cities and they have all the houses touching each other okay there's a, nothing wrong with these nothing wrong with them perfect probably paying eight bucks a kilo or something for them at the moment a couple little ants on that one it's okay just a bit of grass so, uh, I'll grab that bag in a minute, it's going to be heavy. We may not get down to the other ones. That's soft, but we'll find out what that means anyway. Then no good, we chuck them out. Look at that one. A lot of people call where they live God's country, let me tell you. As soon as I find a uh, creek with beer running down it, I will confirm that this is indeed God's country. But there you go, free mango. 
We went struck one in there, now we've got a full bloody bag already. We're going to be heading back in a second. There we go. Let's see if that one's alright. I think we're, we're full. We're going to have to go back again. Real pity. A lot of these have just um, they've been sitting here for a couple of days too long. If we had to come here a couple of days ago, it would have been right. <laughs> We've got a full bag here. Full. All right, so we dropped the mangoes off, and Lorraine's back uh, doing a little bit of processing, you might say, on the mangoes, trying to find the uh, ones that we need to use today and the ones that are cool to ripen. I'm just going to come down here to just show you another part of the, the rainforest. It still exists here. So they haven't flattened everything in this part. This part was developed, I think, around 1995, something like that, 97. Um... And there's a lot of land left here that's public land it's very smart gives somewhere for the water to be soaked in so we've just found another mango tree right here yet again i didn't know this has been this was here um when we came down here probably back in 2022 to have a little bit of a look around and this is a bit embarrassing because this is like virtually five, seven minute walk from our place. Not far at all. And uh, here we go. There's three mangoes again, lying around. So this mango, well, I don't know, I can't even see where these mangoes are to be honest. This is the other side of that little creek slash swale that comes down from the top of the mountain. Beautiful water running through here. That's clear water, especially the way it's been flowing lately. Absolutely beautiful. I've got no idea where these mangoes are coming from here, though. I had a feeling after just finding some on that other side there that there must have been some here. Well, then that's it. Fig tree or something, isn't it? They're all scattered here, so there has to be, uh, there has to be right here, one would say, on the thing. Right up in that tree, is that the mango tree? Honestly, uh, I can't see where these have come from, unless that was the end of them and there's none left on the tree. That's a real shame. If I hadn't known this around, uh, around the end of the last year, around Christmas. So uh, note to self, Christmas, I know exactly where to come in mango season for my three mangoes. Three mangoes, three star fruit. I thought this was gonna be running a bit more after the rain last night. This is what I was hoping to show you. And it's not. But there you go, we've discovered more mangoes, ladies and gentlemen. So you can bet old Jace will be uh, hanging out here every mango season. Because it's a real shame. All that good fruit going to waste. I like to try to have a couple of days a week now where I just eat fruit. I'll have like three or four eggs during the day for the protein. But um, I just eat fruit. And it's done wonders for me. I never have a loss of energy. I never um, fruit because of all the fibre fills you up nice too. So um, you know you get the fibre, you get your protein, you get all your vitamins and minerals. What, what more do you need? Yeah, that's not running. This has to be the mangoes here, but yeah, I think, or, I think everything's falling off them from the rain and the wind. Anyway, I'm slowly learning where all the free fruit trees are. In uh, pretty much walking distance is where I want them. I don't have to get in a car and drive if I don't have to. And 
Now we need to find a new type of fruit, a new type of free fruit. I don't know what, what else there is to find besides mangoes and, and star fruit. I'll keep you posted if I find anything else, else new. So this was the other spot I wanted to come to. Uh, like I said, the water's not flowing like I thought it would be, which is a shame. But, um, you know, at least you, you get an idea. This is, and you know, I'm a bit guilty of it, of not taking in um, how much we're still really in, in rainforest here. This is full-on tropical rainforest. This is a semi, semi-busy road. It is... 3.30 in the Arvo right now and you can hear that beautiful bird there I'll stop talking for a minute, see if we can get some bird sounds I don't know if that's some type of wild orchid or what up there. It might just be a uh, mistletoe type. Oh, I'm going to show you something here folks, and this mango here, this, mango, this fruit fly, this is why I like to try now, like, I, I try to get the fruit before it bloody well rots, and you get all these everywhere. There we go, that's where we're coming out of. So, uh, just for those who were interested, it's a bit hard to work out exactly what the layout is up here if you haven't been to North Queensland, if you're in Australia and you've never been up here. If you're over uh, in America, 
or something. You probably don't even know this really exists in Australia. But there's a lot of people around the world don't really know that uh, tropics exist in Australia, which is pretty hilarious to me. I was going to go around and try to show you where the uh, cane train comes through. Let's keep going. And this is where the uh, this is where the cane track comes through. I see these everywhere up here. I don't know if they do this in the new suburbs. We'll go and have a look at the new suburbs one day just to show you. But lots of these gutters, swales. I don't know, let me know what their official term is. Gutter, swale. I think this comes they they haven't come through people's yards and that. They've got them across the road from me and they've got them everywhere. It's fantastic. And this goes straight down where? Into that little creek I just showed you. So, uh, this particular area we're in, in the south of Cairns, which is about 15 minutes from the city, 15 minute drive from the city, is, is really well, it's really well drained. There's, there's nothing, I cannot complain about it. And even if it did flood under some great mystery, um, believe me, I wouldn't be complaining because they've put in massive effort in this, in this particular area. They've put, in a, they've put in a good effort. Like I said, I don't think they do that anymore because it's all about building stuff as quick as possible, getting the hell out of the country and going and retiring overseas with the money you made from uh, the locals who bought you crappy houses in Australia. Yeah, that might be, might be the Moringa there. I don't know if that's the Moringa or not. We did have one. It was a bit of a messy plant. I'll have to check if that's the Moringa. It may be, although I think it usually gets uh, like drumstick type stalks on it. And this is the uh, cane track along here. This is the cane train track. And um, you can imagine this all being in operation when there was no there was no houses here 50, 60 years ago. 30, 40 years ago, actually, when my uncle came up here in the 80s, this was, this was still all cane fields and, and mango plantations. So you can imagine all this just grassland, farmland, and uh, these guys just hauling the cane around everywhere. I was kind of hoping there might have been one coming through. I don't know when they come through. You can't really predict. And this is the other side here. Very, very pretty, very tranquil. And uh, just here in suburbia. And yeah, I do feel pretty lucky. I really do love it up here. That's a great view there of Mount Peter. I'm trying to go to these people's backyards. And that's where the uh, line goes, all the way down there and across here. Let's see. I'm going to try to walk across here and film. Let's see if I don't um, hopefully fall through the tracks. It's probably a stupid idea. And I'm not going to do it. <laughs> so, uh, there you go, folks. There's just a bit of a look around of the uh, immediate area that that we live in up here and you can see plenty of food I'm not worried about starving up here I know what you're gonna say yeah you can't live on mangoes but you could live on them for a few weeks or so uh, and we're lucky there's a lot of uh, really local producers of the butcher we go to now is uh, is literally just up the hill maybe about 30 kilometers away 30 40 kilometers not far and best meat I've had in my life actually the meat's so good that I've started to eat pork again farms his own pork as well so uh, I feel lucky to have him good meat I've got a good baker got some good local producers at the markets give you a look around at uh, Rusty's markets one day too we'll go in there and have a look around now everyone's done videos on Rusty markets we'll go in and have a talk to people but um, for now thanks for watching 
thanks for subscribing. If you're one of the uh, 20 odd people that's done it in the last month, I've had a nice uptick of uh, subscribers lately, which is awesome. If you've made it this far to the video, I'll tell you why you made it this far. Because you deserve to, and you deserve a thumbs up from me. Really appreciate the subs. And uh, if I see the subs go up, I'm going to concentrate a little bit more and put a bit more effort in. And uh, so let me know what you, if you want to just see stuff up here. This isn't really about me giving gardening tips. Uh, this is about Tropical Oz Garden, and uh, this is it. This is the garden. Here, we're in it now, as you just saw. So, uh, until the next vid, stay digging, stay dirty, get into it. Like, share, subscribe. See you next time.